What's up guys, Calvin here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace the motor for the VR drone. So this is the, the motor that comes with the VR drone. This is the Silver Edition 0615 brush motor. Uh, the first step you will need to remove the, the bottom cap for the motor part. You basically just use your nail and, and just take it out like that. Very simple. And then let's take out all of them. And then the next step, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. You need to release uh, these four screws to uh, open the bottom the bottom cover. So after you release four screws, the bottom you can remove it, and now you can uh, see the fret controller here, and then this is the motor plug, you have to uh, unplug the motor plug. And in here, you will need to use the, the prop tool that comes with the VR drone kit. Uh, you can just slice it in and pop out like this. Okay, and then the next step will be removing all the propeller. The correct way to remove the propeller will be uh, slice the the prop to uh, in this angle from the bottom to slice in. So slice in between the gap uh, from the, the propeller and then the motor base and just uh, pull down this way and then the, the propeller will release and just do the same things for all the propeller. Uh, if you see the propeller is installed too deep and there is no gap, just prop in the two and then and then just pop it out like that and this one is very loose so you can just easily remove it and then the last one that's it so now all the propeller is removed and then uh, we are going to push the motor down and then we take the motor out in here you you need to make sure you remember the the place for the motor. The motor have clockwise and counterclockwise. Let me move to this shape. So this is the front, right? Flip it. The top left will be the red and blue color wire. And then the top right will be the black and white color wire. Just remember this two because the other two in the corner will be exactly the same color from this one to this one. They are the same. And this one and this one is the same. So now we can remove the motor the prop two again and then push the the pin on top of the motor pin just push it down and you will see uh, the motor pops out from the bottom and then you can uh, you can still use the prop two to push the pin down a little bit more if you need to and now you can grab the motor and take it out and i recommend you to do the motor one by one so for example, I removed one motor, I will put in um, a new motor in, then you will not forget the motor rotation. I'm going to take the motor out from the case, and this is the silver motor we have. So I take out the motor, uh, the red and blue wire. I'm going to take the same motor, twist the wire a little bit. Uh, don't twist it too much, just like this, that's enough and I'm going to put it in first motor and also make sure the wire the wire rotations uh, make it like this angle and then push it all the way down you can use the prop tool again just push the bottom you can use your finger to hold the motor part and then push the motor down. This is all the way down. And after you install the motor, plug it in because you want to make a difference uh, compared to other un unchanged motor. So this one, plug it in and al align the wire. This space is designed for keep the motor wire inside. Just put it in and Put back the cap okay so after you put back the the motor cap 
it looks like this. And then we are going to do all the motor, just one by one. Do the, use, just using the same method to remove the motor. Plug in the motor. And when you plug in the motor, make sure the plug you see here is the, the metal pin in here. And on the other side, there is no pin, there is a hook. So it's basically this, just this position. Just make sure you, you follow this position and you plug it in. And that's it. Align the wire. And then motor cap. Okay, now we have all the motor put back and then we are going to install the bottom cap. Make sure all the wire are put into the right space. And then we're going to tighten up the screw. Don't over tighten the screws because it's plastic. If you over tighten it, it will just make it, it will just broke the, 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 uh, the screw hole. Okay, now the, the last step is to put your propeller back into the VR drone. So this design is uh, it's a prop in style design. What is prop in? It's basically the propeller are going to spin inward. Let me put the propeller in first and I will explain what is props in and what is props out. And then this one's spinning this way and this one is spinning this way. Push it all the way down. And this one should be the same as this one. So this one is spinning this way and this one is spinning the same way. And then the last one. So um, how you going how, how you can define uh, the propeller like which propeller to put into which motor pot basically there is only two type of propeller <coughs> one is clockwise one is counterclockwise and this one is clockwise <coughs> you can tell the curve side on here this is the face that going to cut into the wing uh, to generate the lift so it will going to spin clockwise to cutting the air from the top to the bottom. So it's basically grabbing the air and push the air down to generate thrust. So this one, uh, this motor and this motor is clockwise. This two motor will be counterclockwise. This is called uh, props in configuration. In some other drone, people also do props out configuration, but on the VR drone, we, we just basically set up as uh, crocs in only. You don't need to change anything and you don't want to change anything because the flight controller is set up to be using props in only. And that's it. Okay, if you have any questions, just leave us a comment and we will do our best to answer your question. Thank you so much.